So instead of trying to shuffle through your photos to find your QR code or for whatever document you're looking for, I'm going to show you how you can create an iPhone shortcut for your vaccine records. Now this can be applied to any document or any photo that you take. So whether it's documents, favorite pictures, what have you. But for this case, we're just talking about a quick way of bringing up those photos. Big thing is you need to somehow get the, your, your document records or your QR code or whatever into the photos album. The, the, the easiest way to do that is you can just do a screenshot. So depending on your device, there's different ways of, of different buttons to push that'll grab a snapshot of whatever is on your screen. You can find out more information by just Googling that for your device. Okay, so let's take a look. The big thing about this is that a photo into photos and then you need to create an album. So I've created an album called Trev's Vaccine Records, and I could put in all the different records from McEwen, from the Alberta Health, whoever I want. I, those can all go into, into this folder. You can also create a shared, full, or a shared album. And with a shared album, let's say I have a family, I wanna put everyone's records in that album and I'm gonna share it with everyone else. So that way we have all the records in one location. We all are using the same files. It's just like a shared folder on Google or Microsoft. So, there's my photo, it's in my album, that's the first step. So let's go and launch Shortcuts. Shortcuts is an application that is available on all iOS devices, it's installed automatically. And it basically is running scripts or, or creating scripts to do a number of different actions um, one after the other. So there's a bunch of built-in ones, we're actually gonna create one, it's only two steps, it's really easy. So just launch Shortcuts to start with. And in the top right hand corner is the plus sign. We're gonna create a new one. So that's where we'll start. And I'm gonna give it a name at the top. So I'm just gonna click up top here and I'm gonna call it Trev's Stuff. Just for the heck of it. Call it whatever you want. Okay, so I said there's two actions that we're gonna look at. Find the photos, display the photos. That's pretty much it. So where it says add action, we're gonna click on that and we're gonna search for the actions. Now there's a whole bunch of different actions uh, associated with all these different applications, but just to make life easier, I just want you to tap up from the top there and just type in find photos. So there's a command where to go into there. And when it comes up, it's by default, it says find all photos. Well, we don't want it to find all photos. We want to find it a specific one. So I'm going to hit add filter. And where it says where album is recents, we want to change the album to the one that I created. So I'm going to tap on recents here brings this up and I've got a whole whack of different albums but I also know that I named it Trev's vaccine records so I'm just going to filter that and tap on that so now the first step basically says go to the photos find where the album is called Trev's vaccine records that's step one so whatever's in there that's what I want to display second step is display it down at the bottom is the filter function for the next step so I'm going to go into there and I'm going to type in quick look so a quick look is just a way to display whatever is selected. So step one, find all the photos in Trev's vaccine uh, records album and then show them. Bottom right hand corner, I mean, that's it, we're done. The bottom right hand corner is the play. So let's hit play and see what happens. Sure enough, that's exactly what I want it to do. Okay, before we save this, I'm just gonna change the icon a little bit. So in the top left hand corner, I'm gonna tap on that. I can choose a different color. So I'm gonna choose a nice red. And then I'm gonna go and choose the image. They call it a glyph. I'm gonna find the person there, use that, and I'll hit done. That's really now me designing my icon. In the top right hand corner, you'll see three sliders. I'll just tap on that. And then there's the link there that says add to home screen. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add to home screen. This is a preview of what that icon is going to look like. And then I'm going to hit add. And there it is down at the bottom, Trev stuff. I'm going to tap on that. Sure enough, that's it. That's it. That's how easy it is to do that.